Hi guys, welcome to another Google SketchUp 8 lesson. And now in this lesson, I'm going to teach you on how to create 2D shapes and then turn them into 3D shapes. So let's first off start with the rectangle tool. Now the rectangle tool is this sort of like square looking thing up here. But first off, let me get rid of this lady right here. And then we go ahead and click on this. Now let's go ahead and start from the origin point, which is where the Z axis, the Y, and the X axis cross. So that's the origin point. So how this rectangle tool works is you click for one corner of the quadrilateral or rectangle or square, whatever you want, and then you go ahead and drag your mouse out. Now, if you get a dotted line like that, it shows it's a square, but if you don't, that's practically a rectangle. But I wanna do a square. And now I'll do another one with a rectangle. I'm going to start along. I'll just do it right here. So I'll just do a rectangle. And now the next one we're going to do is the circle tool. Now the circle tool is this one up here. And how this works is you press the middle. You, you press the middle of the circle. And then you pull out its radius. Now remember the radius is half of, a diam of the diameter of a circle. So again, you click on the center and then you drag your mouse out for the radius. All right, so there you go. You got your square, rectangle, and a circle. Now, another one I wanna show you isn't up here. It's on, on this toolbar. You have to go to draw, and then you have to go to polygon. Now, the polygon tool works the same exact way as the circle. So let me show you. Again, it's the center, then you pull out the radius. All right. Now, let's go ahead and try to use the arc tool. Now, I want to show you a few cool things with this art tool. Let me get a bit in low right here. And you see this dotted line, and it says like uh, like green axis, that's the Y axis, if I'm not mistaken. So this dotted line shows that it's lining up from this point. So let's say I want to line it up right here. Then I want to keep lining up right there. Now I want to pull it up. To pull it up, let me just get a good perspective right here. You might want to move your mouse a lot so you can change your perspective. Now I want it to go on the blue. Now I'll make it pretty high so it doesn't touch these lines right here. So I want it to go up along the blue axis. And then I want to complete this. I want to complete this arc. So you just go ahead and take the line tool and I'm going to press for one corner of the arc to the other. And then we have a full arc. All right, now the last, well actually the last two tools are kind of free-handed. This one, the line tool, is more of a straight edge. So it's free-handed, but much more straight. So let's say I want to go right here. This can be a bit difficult. Uh, I'll say right here, and then we'll go for right there. And then for the freehand tool, you, just, you have to go again to draw, and then you go to freehand. And then freehand is just like that. All right, now I want to erase these two points right here. What you can do is you could press E on your keyboard, or you could just go to the eraser tool up here. So now I'm just going to hold down my left mouse button, hold down shift on my keyboard, and then it will select all these lines, and I'll delete them. All right. So now we have all these different shapes. So we got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, well, seven different shapes. Now let's turn them into 3D shapes. Now to turn them into 3D shapes, what you want to do is you want to take select this push and pull tool. Now the push and pull tool, what it does is when you place the tool, hover it actually over a certain face, you can see that the face turns into like a dotted section or whatever. That means you can pull or push this face. So let's say I want to pull this square up. So I can go ahead and pull it up. Now, I can do the same thing with the rectangle, but say I want it to be the same exact height as this cube something, as this sort of cube. What you can do is you can drag this face with your left mouse holding, and then you can drag it right here. You can see that dotted line that appears when I drag it onto this face. It shows that they're the exact same height, all right? But let me quickly undo that, and let me show you another thing. What you could also do if you can't like reach to that face, what you can do is you can just double click and it's the same thing. And I can do that for the rest of the shapes. Double click, double click, double click, double click, and then double click. 
All right, now you can see you got the 2D shapes that have turned into 3D shapes. Now to quickly put this all together, let's go ahead and make a simple house, like a little cabin house or whatever. So let's go ahead and go click on the rectangle tool. I'm gonna make some sort of, say like that. Now I'm gonna pull this up and I'm gonna put a line right here. I'm gonna make a line right here I'm gonna draw it down the middle, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna actually use the move tool. I'm gonna use the move tool to pull this line up along the blue axis. And you've got a little simple house. And then you can add some other shapes to put like windows and doors and stuff. Like maybe this is a door and this is probably like a window, maybe. I don't know. Whatever you want. Alright, so basically you got you learn how to create 2D shapes, turn them into 3D, and then you also knew you also know how to pull lines out, just like this with the move tool. You can pull this out, and I can pull that out, and then you get a cool, weird shape right there. And let's say like that, pretty slanted but cool, huh? So again, you learned how to use how to create shapes, make them unique, and make it into something like a little house or something. Alright, so that's all for this lesson. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below or shoot me a PM. So, thanks for watching. Check out my blog, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.